well spent. This is BBC World News. I'm Babita Sharma. Our top stories. Sheikh Hasina's spokesman denies opposition claims of widespread vote rigging in Bangladesh's election after the Prime Minister secures a third term in office. People are being killed, people are being arrested, candidates are being arrested. All the allegations they are making, but they couldn't prove it. Four dead and dozens missing after a gas explosion devastates a block of flats in central Russia. US Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren formally announces she's considering a run for president in 2020. Yeah. And this is the scene live in Hong Kong as they welcome in the new year with a huge celebration in Victoria Harbour. Welcome and a happy new year to you. This is BBC World News and we are celebrating as parts of the world, of course, are ushering in 2019. And this is the scene live in Hong Kong, where just a minute or so ago, the huge firework display that we can see here erupted on Victoria Harbour. Let's have a little listen in. Spectacular firework display there on Victoria Harbour that stretches some 16 miles in the dense city that is Hong Kong. It's a major tourist attraction there with tens of thousands of people, if not more, gathered to see the spectacular display. If you've ever been in Hong Kong to see this, it truly is a sight to behold because the fireworks do light up the entire expanse of the harbour there. And uh, thousands of people along the shore welcoming in the New Year's, you can hear with that traditional song of Old Lang Syne. Can we hear it again? Here we can. Loud in Hong Kong. And we're also uh, expecting to see some pictures coming to us from Taipei as well and uh, all across the Asia Pacific region as they usher in 2019. So, more on that to come. Our other top story this hour in the... Welcome, this is BBC World News. I'm Babita Sharma. Our top stories. A ruling party spokesman denies opposition claims of widespread vote rigging in Bangladesh's election after the Prime Minister secures a third term in office. Four dead and many more missing after a gas explosion devastates a block of flats in central Russia. And the US Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren takes a step closer to running for presidency in 2020. We can win. We can and we will. And why showing an unedited Jackie Chan film has cost an Iranian TV executive his job. This is the scene live in Bangkok as Thailand celebrates the new year with huge celebrations. Hello and welcome to BBC World News and Happy New Year to those of you that have already ushered in 2019, including our friends in Thailand. This is the scene there live where in Bangkok, 
They are welcoming in the new year with a stunning firework display. Above the shopping mall, the Icon Siam, which is a brand new mall that has opened up in the capital, overlooking the bank of the Chayo Preya River there, with those fireworks being set off from the banks of the river and also with those boats as well. Let's have a little listen in to the firework display if we can. Chayo Preya River there stretching some 1,400 metres through the Thai capital with thousands of onlookers marvelling at that wonderful firework display and the Asia Pacific already showing how it's done to usher in 2019. We've already seen some fantastic celebrations at Sydney Opera House, Victoria Harbour in Hong Kong and in Tokyo as well. We will bring you the scenes from there a little later in the programme. Our other top story this hour, the Electoral Commission in Bangladesh has rejected... This is BBC World News. I'm Karen Ginoni. Our top stories. The search for survivors after an apartment block in central Russia is devastated by a gas explosion. At least four people are dead, up to 35 missing. The UN says food aid in Yemen, on which millions of people depend, is being stolen and illegally sold in rebel-controlled areas. The Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren gives the clearest signal yet that she wants to run for the US presidency in 2020. We can win. We can and we will. And New Year's celebrations in the Middle East. This is the scene live in Dubai, the latest place to welcome in 2019. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. Let's take you to where 2019 is dawning right now, Dubai. This is the world's tallest tower, the Burj Khalifa. Hundreds of thousands of people are there in Dubai to watch what is always utterly spectacular. Thousands of people are around that area and thousands from all over the world have flocked to Dubai to enjoy what it has to offer at midnight as the new year dawns. Let's uh, enjoy a little bit of this spectacular display. 